Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to Hashtag RPG a Day 2018. Now the fifth year this August, we're asking in tabletop role players everywhere to tweet, blog, YouTube, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook their Hashtag RPG a Day answers to celebrate everything cool, memorable, and amazing about our hobby. Here we are at week three. Describe is the name of the game for this week. August the 13th. Describe how your play has evolved. As a, as a player and as a GM, my, my play has evolved that I now know from, this is like the 13-year-old Jim that used to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and D&D, that now most games have to focus on your players. For a while there, there was the idea that from a Game Master point of view, you, you set the dungeon, you set up every little nuance, and then you set your players to it, and then, you know... you a lot of GMs will cause railroading to happen because it's their story. Nowadays, you know, thankfully it's become very popular with everybody the same theory that you have to be player-centric. Granted, your players may go off on left field, but that's their story. you got to follow along the cameras with them, not have the actual story planned out. It's one of those of you have to realize your characters are the main characters of the movie. Everyone else are backstage characters that, you know, they may be important to move the story along, but they're just there to move the story along, whereas your players are telling the story. So as a player and as a GM, I, I really like that because as a player, it's empowering knowing that your decisions and choices are paramount in the, in the forefront. And when you write your character's background, you you need to make sure to pepper your background with material the Game Master can use because part of the background is the history that tells the GM where you want to go. It's it's the landmarks on the map of your character's story arc. That Where did they start? What, what trials and tribulations have they already encountered? And what they're going to be heading out to in the future to do. So I would definitely say more character-focused is, is how my gameplay has evolved. That and it, character focus also includes the concept of failing forward, which is a concept I love in game systems because sometimes the dice just hate you and they want to murder you. So it's good to know that when you're failing forward, the story will continue. Just because you guys lose a fight doesn't mean you die and it's over. You are now captured. You're now having to do a prison break to get out. So basically roll with the punches and keep it player focused. That's my August the 13th, How My Play Has Evolved. Alrighty, guys, thank you for listening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a Dungeon Crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so! DungeonCrate.com let the adventure begin!
Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.